Hello and welcome to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard, in studio with Amy Bell, returning to talk with us about the day-to-day happenings on the job as a physical therapist, which sometimes means helping Olympic athletes with injury management or possibly designing injury prevention programs for some of her clients. Hello and welcome to the program, Amy. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much for returning. You know, um, you are a physical therapist with Athletico Physical Therapy. Talk a bit about Athletico Physical Therapy. Athletico Physical Therapy is a company that was founded in the Chicagoland area, and now we have expanded to nine different states. Mm-hmm. And do you deal only in sports medicine, or do you treat any injury that uh, may require physical therapy? We would treat any injury that may require physical therapy. We treat women's health patients, we treat workman's compensation, we treat vestibular patients, we treat patients with back pain, knee pain, shoulder pain, really anything that someone would need physical therapy for. And how did you become a physical therapist with Athletico? Uh, So uh, actually, um, when I was in physical therapy school, I injured my back. And so I wanted to um, receive physical therapy. So I did a little research and I came upon Athletico. So I actually was a patient at Athletico prior to I'm making my job there. So I got to try it out first, and I loved it right from the start. Were you interested in physical therapy uh, at the onset of your medical career? I was. Um, you know, I, I had great experiences in physical therapy as a gymnast with injuries when I was a child, and I also experienced some injuries in college as an athlete, and uh, it kind of helped me to uh, become a physical therapist after college. So you've got uh, a well-rounded knowledge and both in experience and uh, the clinicals as far as physical therapy goes, having been a patient um, and a student, as well as an athlete getting those injuries, it sounds extremely busy. I mean, you wake up, (laughs) do you have a a list of things that that, uh, you've got on an itinerary, or do you just play it as it lays when you walk in the door and say, okay, what's going to happen now? Let's go. Well, I have a great schedule, so I know who I'm going to see that day, but it is a lot about multitasking, Um, just kind of You know, as people come in, you figure out how they're doing, and then you set your plan for the day, and then you start running. So it's a very fast-paced career, but it's also very fun and challenging, and you get to be creative, uh, and you get to see people get better, which is the best part of the job. When when someone is referred to a physical therapist, uh, you know, we're already shelling out for the practitioner. We're already shelling out to participate in the sport that we've chosen to participate in or that our kids have chosen to participate in. How cost-effective is physical therapy, and how often do you see that as a factor in whether or not someone uh, does physical therapy? Well, I think we're experts in injury prevention, so I think sometimes we can, you know, provide education early on to, uh, you know, possibly, uh, um, you know, stop the injury right in the beginning when it's in the, uh, you know, early stages, so we, we prevent it from getting worse. Um, you know, also we're very knowledgeable in just treating all different kinds of injuries, so you know, we can figure out what's going on, uh, you know, make the corrections uh, with your mechanics, teach you some exercises, and hopefully prevent this injury from occurring in the future um, and get you back to doing what you want to do. The cost effectiveness is that the physical therapy pays for itself and that you can get back to normal life. Exactly. And sometimes, you know, if you get into physical therapy and, you know, at first maybe you thought you needed a surgery, but actually just correcting your mechanics and, you know, learning good body mechanics and different habits that can, you know, prevent you from having to have that surgery. Now, during your day-to-day experience as a physical therapist, how um, how knowledgeable do you find that patients are about the techniques and modalities that you're going to use to get them better? Do you find yourself having to educate as well as treat, or do the athletes pretty much know what you're going to do when they get there? I think there's a huge piece of education that we provide. I mean, I think they might have a general knowledge um, if someone told them what physical therapy is all about, but I really think it's the education that we provide about you know, the, the body and their injury and, you know, what to expect and, and what the future holds for them with this injury. I think that's so important. And I think it puts patients at ease and makes them want to get better um, to get back to 100%. You know, um, the medical field is often, well, there are complaints that, well, you know, we keep going back to the doctor for the same thing, the same thing. You know, we've had this drug and that drug and this surgery and that surgery. When it comes to physical therapy, are we talking about um, you seeing patients and once you've got them on the right track, you probably won't see them again? Is that a good thing? 
Well, I guess that is a good thing because then, you know, I've, I've taught the patient how to take responsibility for their health and for their injuries so they kind of know what to expect. And if these symptoms do start to occur, I hope I've taught them the right stretches or the exercises to at least try to see if they can get their symptoms under control for it not to, you know, start to get worse. So I do think that, um, you know, patients learn a lot from their experience in physical therapy that can help them in the future. Now, dealing with uh, the physical body, uh, I guess from a muscular and, and uh, skeletal standpoint, whatnot, mm-hmm. how often do you recommend that a person either continue with prescription drug therapy for an injury, or are you um, basically, is your goal to wean them away from having to deal with the problem chemically at all? Well, we really don't deal with any of the, the chemical or the medication side of it. Obviously, you know, most people come to you and they don't want to take medication or they want to get off of it as soon as possible. So I try to give them an avenue to do that. I try to teach them, you know, how to sit properly at their desk or how to stretch properly before and after they run so that it doesn't become an issue and they can, they can stop taking the medication if, if their pain is going away. What would you say to the physical therapy practitioner that um, gets rather attached to the to the patient, you know, you've been dealing with them for, for sometimes maybe six months or so, and now that patient is better, they're well, and as far as you're concerned, it'd be good if you never saw them again. But you really <laughs> connected. And how do you deal with the patient that doesn't seem to want to let go? Well, I think you know my best thing is when I my favorite thing is when I see the patients out in the community and they're doing well and they're doing what they enjoy. So that's really rewarding to me. Um, you know, we always joke, like, I hope to see you at Target, not at the clinic, you mm-hmm. know, because hopefully you're doing fine. Um, you know, some patients, you know, it, it is scary to have to be discharged from therapy and, and start doing things on their own. But hopefully we've given you the confidence and the tools to, uh, you know, take care of yourself and uh, reach your own goals. And then they also know that we're available at the clinic if they have questions or we do offer a free screen, which is a free 30 minute screen with a health professional. Um, and the patient can come back in and just discuss, uh, you know, any current complaints or if they're having any issues with a past injury, and we might be able to give them some exercises and some advice for moving forward. Great. Well, it's been a pleasure talking with you, Amy. You too. Thanks for having me today. Thank you. You've been listening to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard, in studio with Amy Bell, physical therapist with Athletico Physical Therapy. Transcripts and audio of this program are available at healthprofessionalradio.com.au and also at hpr.fm. And you can subscribe to this podcast on iTunes.